Hi, I'm Santa Parker, and I'm the casting director and associate producer of the Luke Vanderloft film. I'm here at Cookbox Studios with Rocky Perry, the author of the Luke Vanderloft series. Today, uh, we are going to announce uh, a lot of the major casting for the film uh, and talk about some of the characters and the people we're going to have to play them. So, uh, the first character is Luke Vanderloft. He's the uh, title character for the book series. Um, we chose uh, Cole Sweden. Uh, because he had this uh, this look, this everyman look, he uh, sort of represents your, your average person, um, and that's really sort of who Luke is. And in addition to having a good look, he also had a great presence, and he was very natural on camera. The next oh character that we're going to announce good. is Red Hook, and that character will be played by Rodman Schwears. Yeah, the Red Hook character is uh, just this um, awful, uh, immoral character who, who basically is super greedy, and he functions as the main villain in the first book, even though he's not sort of the, the, the overarching villain to the story. And we chose Rodman because of his look and his presence. He's a super sweet guy, um, but you know he's the kind of guy that if you put a you know butcher knife in his hand, he, his look transforms him into this uh, horrible, Red Hook character um, that you wouldn't want to run into in a dark alley. He was perfect. <laughs> the next character is Charlie, and he will be played by Ross Hartston. Yeah, and Char Charlie is just as important a uh, character as Luke, really. He's sort of the, the um, uh, main villain within the, the series. Um, and although we don't see him a whole lot in book one, uh, it was really important that we get somebody that was sort of perfect and would play the role. And uh, Ross, um, who read for another part, as soon as uh, he got done, we talked about it and we thought he, he would be perfect for Charlie. He has that perfect presence, uh, so we're really excited about him. Playing the character of Salus will be Tyler Buckingham. Yeah, Salus was a character who uh, people didn't have a chance to explore who hadn't read the books at the audition. But um, and and really, I didn't know if we would we would cast him or not until we saw Tyler. Um, and, and of course, we we found out a lot about his background and his uh, fight choreography training. And I saw some of, uh, pictures of him. And as soon as I saw him with a shield, I was like, "That's that's Salus. Um, Salus is uh, just he's sort of the." Um, just amazing fighter that is sort of indebted to Cawthorn uh, and travels around with him in the books. He's a, everybody loves the character um, and Tyler was perfect. The character of Omar Kadash will be played by Michael Dave Peterson. And, and Omar is a character that we were introduced to in the very beginning of the book and he is sort of the embodiment of uh, friendship and loyalty and he's sort of this guide to Luke and a lot of Luke's, uh, a lot of the qualities Luke falls short in, Omar makes up for throughout the series uh, that he's in. And as soon as we saw uh, Michael David, he, he had that exact same quality that sort of embodied him. He, ha he had this way about him that immediately all of us were like, that's, that's perfect for Omar. Um, this just sort of uh, gentle giant uh, type that, that was exactly what we were looking for in Omar. That was super exciting. Tell me how you got that scratch in the morning. He's adorable. The character of Swipe will be played by Sean Smith. Uh, the character of Swipe is um, re really sort of the embodiment of, of uh, a powerful but, uh, individual who we're going to need to uh, pull off some uh, physical feats that, that was just perfect for Sean, uh, having been a former collegiate wrestler and now a dancer for several years. And, uh, he also has a great presence, uh, a musician that's performed around the Southeast. Um, we're, we're really lucky to have him, uh, and he's going to do a great job playing the swipe. So the part of uh, Rifkin uh, was important. Uh, a lot like Omar, he's, he's a companion to Luke who plays a role in the story in the first book. Um, Rifkin, it was important that we find someone who could stand sort of toe-to-toe -to -toe in stature with Omar. Um, with uh, and uh, had a quality that would connect him to the Twill character since they're sort of connected throughout the first book and um, w you know the reader's kind of unsure of what that connection is so he had to have sort of the qualities of a companion um, someone who 
you might would trust um, and uh, someone who could probably take care of you if you're in trouble. And that's why we chose Jimmy Sowell. He embodies pretty much all of those characteristics. Yeah, he has a perfect look. And, and he's yeah. definitely standing next to the actor that we've cast for um, Omar. Will, the, the two of them will work well together. The character of Jono will be played by Lucas Durham Styles. And John is a character that we, we meet in the first book and we follow him really throughout his life. So we needed to find somebody who had sort of a, a very youthful look. Um, but at the same time, Jono, from the very first moments we meet him, he's, he's extremely intelligent and, and knows a lot of stuff uh, about his field being a magician. And uh, so we needed someone who sort of had that both qualities. Um, could pull off like I'm really this uh, smart uh, kid. And Lucas uh, had the had a good look for us. Varian Clore will be played by Derek Yates. And Varian is was really uh, I thought would be the hardest uh, character to cast. Uh, we had to find someone who both had the power uh, that Varian has in the story, and also someone who can sort of capture his his nobility, his sort of staunch way, but he's really sort of fighting to be a very relaxed character. So. Um, you know, we we went with Derek um, uh, because not only of his look, but also the way he took the direction of the character uh, in the read was perfect. Uh, it wasn't uh, overacted. He really did a good job of, of settling into the role very quickly, and and also we think he'll he'll be a great uh, uh, next to Cole. Um, really, the two of them immediately had some chemistry that that I think is going to. Um, represent in the book the friendship that those two had. Cawthorn will be played by Mark Michael. Um, Mark Michael has been a performer, musician here with the Molly McGuire's in Chattanooga for, for years. Um, and when he came in, we were really happy. Uh, Cawthorn is a character who sort of is this seasoned veteran who takes uh, not, not just Luke, but really anybody who needs help under his wings um, he's like the embodiment of the sort of seasoned veteran uh, and Mark had uh, really in his reading and uh, he even did some singing for us uh, is going to bring so much uh, depth to the role um, I feel like uh, as, as I go back and look at the Cawthorn character in the first book there's a lot of parallels between uh, Mark Michael and Cawthorn um, and I think his chemistry also around uh, some of the, the other actors is going to um, be great. I can't wait for it. Good. And we loved his impromptu sea shanty at the audition. It was amazing. The character of Darlene will be played by Rachel Bohannon. And Darlene uh, is a huge uh, character in the series. Uh, and we really don't meet her until the very beginning of... Uh, of book two, but as we were working on the film project, uh, which unlike a book, all these storylines and all these people uh, that are in book one, Luke just doesn't have to run, happen to run across them. We're going to try to incorporate some of the story that's going on with them before we actually meet them in the books. Um, and uh, Rachel is one of the reasons we decided to do this. She had sort of the perfect look to stand next to uh, the character that would be playing her father. Uh, that we cast and um, then also with her dance background we thought that she's going to be able to pull off um, a lot of the, the fight scenes that are required to play the Darlene character. Felix will be played by Jonathan Tindall. And Felix is uh, one of the characters in the book who uh, we didn't necessarily have anybody read for but we knew we had to have a Felix. He is a long time uh, crewman aboard the McFarvin and probably uh, one of Cawthorn's oldest friends uh, and plays an integral role in the first book uh, with his interactions with Luke and uh, we cast uh, Jonathan uh, because he, he looked like he would uh, uh, fit in just perfectly uh, as a pirate on the card. He did an awesome accent. What was the accent? Was I believe it was Irish. Irish. It was Irish. Um, I would say probably the, uh, I don't know what region. I follow the ship's captain, and I'll happily follow a captain that wants me to head back towards the sea. Love it, that's good, that's yeah. good. Twill will be played by Emily Bowman. 
The the twill character that has we meet her in the first book um, is is like a huge mystery, um, and she's together with uh, Rifkin, um, and the, the reader really uh, uh, starts to get an idea of their relationship as the, as the first book goes on. Uh, when we were casting the twill character, which which maybe was the the second hardest character to cast. Uh, we had to get somebody who was going to be able to put all this emotion into the character, even though the, the character kind of is this morose, non-emotional uh, character. Um, and Emily was um, uh, an impressive uh, actress in that when we sort of gave her that uh, direction uh, in her read, she was able to sort of embody this quiet, calm um, and um, I was really excited. I think she's going to be able to pull off uh, exactly the, the level of intensity but lack of emotion that we've, we've got to have out of the tool care. I think she has a really good look and she did a really good subtle read mm -hmm. and she has really good eyes for a character like Twill. Mm -hmm. Maximus will be played by Joe Heath. Uh, Maximus is a character that we meet in the very beginning of uh, book one and uh, Luke and Omar really uh, run into him and he's very much uh, the linchpin in setting them off on the adventure of book one. So we had to get someone who had good chemistry with them and uh, was going to be able to pull off the, the, the really the one main scene that Maximus has uh, that, that sets the story in motion and Joe was uh, the perfect person. Shell will be played by Jenny Marie Jagodich. Uh The Shell character is uh, the one character in the, the story who is uh, what, what is called a Zunati, which is essentially these really speedy humans. And uh, Jenny um, really brought, brought a lot of energy to not only the casting call, but you know her reading and uh, everything else on that day. And I thought she would be perfect for this role, uh, someone who uh, moves fast and talks fast, and uh, she she will be able to pull it off. Um, and I'm really excited about uh, getting the shell character on the film. And we had a need for a certain part uh, due to some visual effects with the Claire character. We needed someone who was younger, so we had uh, Astra Burke uh, audition, uh, and we decided we're going to use her both in that capacity, the visual effects version of Claire, uh, but also we want to use her in a couple of other scenes uh, where we need someone who's younger about her age. Uh, she came in and uh, gave a great audition. Yeah, she was really good. She really surprised me actually because she's a kid and she did a really natural reading of the script. Also, uh, we needed uh, for the same visual effects reason and, and a couple of other uh, shots we're doing, we needed a, a younger kid uh, for the Luke Vanderloff part um, and we've cast uh, Jude Cook in that role and uh, he basically fits the, the uh, physical build that we need and uh, you know, we've seen him do a few other things and uh, he'll, he'll be great in that role. We'd like to thank everyone who came out to the casting and we look forward to starting work on the project. And we do have a few more uh, parts to cast, so if you uh, haven't been announced yet or your part hasn't been announced yet, keep an eye out at uh, RockyPerry.com or CookBoxProductions.com, and uh, we'll have that information out soon. Thanks.